Have you ever tried to express your frustrations to God? Hi there, I'm Nanny Anderson and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. I'm a big fan of telling the Lord everything, driving from one place to another, walking on the stairs by myself at work, walking from my car to a building, and I tell Him everything, even the not so good things. If you want to learn more about prayer, stick with me for today's Devo, Choose To, by Lily Walsh. There are times when I get on my knees to pray and I don't feel like praying. There are times when I talk to God and it doesn't feel like He's listening. There are times when I'm in a tough spot and I feel like screaming, God, don't you even care? One thing I love about God is that He can handle my feelings, no matter how unruly they may be. Especially when we feel overwhelmed and alone, it's easy to withdraw into ourselves and avoid talking to God. But that's not what God wants. He invites us to be totally honest with Him about what we're experiencing. Lots of Psalms show us how to do this. For example, Psalm 13 begins with the words, How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? Don't hesitate to express your frustrations to God, but don't stop there. As Christians, we have the Holy Spirit living inside us, so we can choose to turn our hearts, our minds, and our actions toward the Lord no matter what we're going through. He invites us to come to Him, to experience the freedom of worshiping Him and entrusting our worries to His care. Here are some practices that can be helpful as we press into relationship with God. Number one, choose to trust. Psalm 13 begins with frustration, But later, the author says, I trust in your unfailing love, in verse 5. When life gets tough, we can rely on God's love and remember His promises to us. He promised to send a Messiah to save us, and He did. Jesus Christ died and rose again so that everyone who puts their trust in Him can be with God forever. And Jesus promises to return one day and make all things new, free from sorrow and pain as we read in Revelation 21, 1-5. These promises are still true, regardless of our circumstances. We may go through times when we feel forgotten by God, but we can cling to the truth that Jesus is with us always. Number two, choose to praise. Psalm 13 says, I will sing the Lord's praise, for He has been good to me. Praise is a good choice that's hard to make in frustrating times. But this action expresses, my God is worthy of praise no matter what. And as we continue to acknowledge God's goodness, we often find relief from our frustration. Number three, choose to give thanks. Even when we can't think of anything to be thankful for, we can echo the words of Psalm 13. My heart rejoices in your salvation. Christ's sacrifice for us hasn't been nullified when we don't feel God's presence. We can always thank Him for saving us. And we can also be thankful that He is still working in the midst of our frustrations, even when we can't see it. Number four, choose to pray, even when you don't see the point. In the middle of Psalm 13 is a desperate prayer. Look on me and answer, Lord my God. The action of asking God for help communicates, even though I don't understand, I know you listen to me and care about me. And prayer is more than that. When we pray, we are communicating with the living God. We can come into God's presence because God has come into our presence. Jesus came to bring heaven to earth. As we come to God in prayer, He opens our eyes to the reality of how much He loves us. When we bring our sorrows to God, we can reap a harvest of joy. When we choose to follow God in the midst of our frustrations, our perspective shifts from, God, where are you, to God, I trust you. By choosing to interact with God, we experience an even stronger faith in Him, knowing that His love can't be shaken even in the hardest struggles. So let's talk about this a little bit more together. Have you ever tried to express your frustrations to God? And what was that like? 
How could it be freeing to know that God can handle our feelings and he wants us to be totally honest with him? Consider taking a moment to come to God in prayer, telling him about how you're doing today. You could also try to practice one of the four choices, trust, praise, thank, or ask for help. You don't need to worry about doing this perfectly. Jesus loves you and he wants to walk with you every step of the way. If you want to know a little bit more about how to have a relationship with God through Jesus, who are trusted Christians in your life that you could talk to? You could also find out more about Jesus by going to unlocked.org and checking out the Know Jesus tab. As you and I can read in Psalm 13, 5 through 6, but I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. Now, I'd encourage you to read in your Bible, Psalm 13, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, and Hebrews 10, 36 through 39 to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a service of Keys for Kids Ministries. Has the Lord been teaching you something lately? If so, we want to hear about it. Go to unlocked.org and check out our writer's guidelines to find out how you can write for us. Also, be sure to check back for tomorrow's devotional about looking to God for direction with Dylan. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.